away by this room. Now, we call this room the... Gallery Lounge. The Gallery Lounge of Fort Market Kitchen. First, I wanna know how you got involved in this project, but especially this room. How they're like, all right, you're gonna take this room and do whatever you want with it. How'd that come about? Well, I was brought in by one of the partners, Alex Morales, and uh, he wanted to collaborate in He's uh, a bit of a sculptor, a, wood, a woodworker, and uh, he had this idea to create all these frames on this wall and he wanted me to work over them and, and, and that's how we were going to collaborate in that sense. So I was delivered this, this huge room with a, a collage of all this framework on there. And, uh, okay, so these frames were here. Yeah, it added a bit of three-dimensionality to, yeah. to, the, to the room. A lot of texture. A lot of texture and um, they basically kind of said, you know, we, we love what you do, we love the kind of artwork you make and we want you to bring that into Fulton Market Kitchen. This piece you've got here is incredible and ever since the first time I've come to Fulton Market Kitchen, I've just been blown away by this entire mural. It's so edgy, but still so beautiful and incorporates so many different images. Like, how did you even come up with this idea? I have really no idea. Uh, <laughs> but I will tell That's you what that. I like to hear. Yeah, what I, I met with the owners and we talked about actually doing the wall on the other side. Okay. And we discussed that and then that changed and then things changed and blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden, after all the changes, I said, why, why don't you just let me do whatever I want to do? And and that's do what you want. and that's that's really what what came. I was like it's like I'll do something that I really love, that I really care about, that I really want to do, and that I'm proud of. And uh, and normally a lot of people say no, we we want what we want. Right. And this group, who is really an, a, amazing about them, said uh, no, you you go do it. All right, Danny, do we need to discuss these drinks in a minute because absolutely. I have had, I'd say, actually I don't want to say how many drinks I've already had at Fulton Market Kitchen, but it's been many. Yes. It's been a lot, but I have never seen or tried either of these two. Now, what are these called here? Well, what you are what you have in front of you, what you're drinking is the Peter and the Wolf, and uh, uh, Brian, it's our beverage director, Brian Strigoleski, he makes this with uh, Fernet Branca and Goose Island root beer and a little bit of lime juice, fresh lime juice. This is incredible, and for anybody who knows me, I am still kind of obsessed with McDonald's. And this brings back my childhood so much because I had these glasses, especially with the Hambler, yeah. Hamburglar. Yeah. I've had this entire set. They used to give them out back in the 80s. Absolutely. At McDonald's. And so that's what's so cool is that you normally wouldn't picture this type of beverage wear at Full Market Kitchen, but yet, you guys have this whole collection. <laughs> Tell me about your drink. And I'm going to try this one. This one is called the Beg Borrow Steel. Oh, and uh, you have Brian. Such interesting, unique names for all your cocktails. Well, all, again, all merit goes to the creative genius of the man behind me, Brian. Uh, behind the bar, I should say. And on this case, it, well, he's made this cocktail with uh, it starts with uh, green chartreuse that they infuse with Thai chili. We let it set about 16 oh, like to 24 hours. One. Yeah, it's got a, re a really nice finish, an interesting finish to it. Uh, a little bit of tequila, fresh pineapple juice, and a little bit of fresh lime juice, and then some cilantro. All right, well, let's, yeah. uh, let's Cheers. try these puppies here. Absolutely. Cheers. The nice thing about all your cocktails, too, is that they balance out the amazing menu items. Yeah. And having a couple of these kind of just made me hungry. So, do you think it's time to? See how well they pair with the I cuisine. I say we should start to move on into the private dining room right. and have some dinner. I'm so excited to see this dining room. It is to dive for absolutely gorgeous and a completely different vibe in there than out here. So absolutely, yeah. Let's take this party in there. Yeah. Let's go. Thanks, Danny. To you. Okay, chef. I need to know about these dishes right here because I've never seen anything so visually stimulating. But unfortunately. For all the television viewers out there, you can't smell this, and I can't. And this is probably the most like intoxicating smell ever. What is going on in front of me? Um, right here, you have the uh, suckling pig for two. Um, it's we like actually—it's like for five. 
No, it's for two. It depends on how, you know, it depends on how big your appetite okay, is. Okay, maybe for one, okay. But uh, served Sorry. with uh, blistered green beans, sweet potato alamet, uh, smoked bacon chew. Um, over here we have the uh, two tails, which is a crisp pigtail, glazed lobster tail, served with artichokes and melted leeks. And over here we have the grilled cauliflower dish, served with uh, bursted cherry tomatoes, quinoa, celery, capers, and currants. Well, I don't know how much longer I can wait to eat this because it smells way too good. So, chef, thank you so much for the awesome explanation and everything just looks amazing. Can't my, wait to eat it. My pleasure. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, that will not be an issue, trust me. Danny, yeah. I think we need to cheers this amazing spread no, that no, no. you're Cheers to you for joining for us. us. I mean, just this room is so unbelievably gorgeous. Thanks, Kelly. Match. This yeah. is incredible. Our suckling like pig. There's like cinnamon in it. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. Well it's balanced. so cool yeah. that you said that because a lot of times, and we felt, listen, we're, I, I would be insincere if I had to say, we're carnivores. But we care about what everybody's eating habits and kind of I lifestyle choices are. But you have to, and you want to, because that's kind of the what we're putting on. It's exactly. it's our job. It's something we care about it doing a this. Tour. You yeah, take everybody. you want to create a great experience for everyone, you know, to the extent possible, without you know, kind of deviating from the spirit of of your space. So we had a very specific goal was to create like a great dish for anybody that might be in a lifestyle choice of being a little bit healthier or it's a great, uh, you know, um, complimentary dish to like a suckling pig or a steak or whatnot. It does but, but it would, but something that would stand alone, you know? Agreed, well, I think you've done a brilliant job. Thank the chef you. has, the artists have. Yeah. It's just all come together beautifully and you still have some food to finish. Yeah, as we and do. Some <laughs> And I, drinks to finish. I have my uh, like Return of the Jedi Ecto Non Cooler to finish up. You have four cocktails and yes, I have I three. Do. So As, cheers, cheers again. Cheers to you. Thank you. Thank Danny. you for Appreciate visiting it. us today, Kelly. Yes. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. Yeah. This is the best place. I can't believe you're not eating that. I had four of them already. Uh,